Hi guys, welcome back to my mathematics tutorial. My name is Peter C. Duckworth Jr., your math tutor, and I am an instructor of mathematics at the University of Iberia. So in today's lesson, we want to continue from where we stopped in our previous lesson. That is, we were finding the derivatives of trigonometric inverse functions. So this is question number 12 now. Now I urge that you watch the previous the previous video so that at least you can have much understanding on how do we go about finding the derivatives of trigonometric inverse functions. Now we have tangent y equals to tangent inverse of secant of x plus tangent of x. Now what we know is that the derivative of tangent inverse of x is just equal to 1 all over 1 plus x squared times the derivative of x. So that's exactly what we know. So we're going to use that now to find tangent inverse of secant x plus tangent x. Now, secant x plus tangent x has to do with the angle x. It represents the angle x. So several ways we can do it. We can decide to rewrite secant and tangent or we, we simplify secant and tangent first, but I want to just go straight and solve the problem. So we have y prime equals, so the derivative of tangent inverse of an angle is just 1 all over 1 plus that angle, which is secant of x plus tangent of x, or square times the derivative of that angle. So what is secant, the derivative of secant of x? is secant of x tangent of x plus the derivative of tangent of x is secant square x. So now we just we just want to simplify the one down here. So we have y prime equals. So we have a common factor. If we wish to, we can, we can factor out what is common. Or we just maintain it for now. So we have secant of x tangent of x plus secant square x divided by so we have one plus so we can expand this now to expand a plus b all square it means you can square the first term plus you square the second term and then you say two times the product of the two terms so it's two times a b so we do the same, we square this first term, secant square x, we square the second term, tangent square x, then we say 2 tangent of x, secant of x. So we say secant of x and tangent of x. So we can now bring in some Pythagorean trigonometric identities so that we'll be able to simplify the problem further. Now we know that cos square x that like we see up here plus sine square x is equal to 1. Now if we want secant and tangent it means that we must have some cos within the denominator so we can divide every term by cos square x by cos square x because we know that sine over cos is tangent and 1 over cos is, is secant. So this now gives us 1 plus this gives us tangent square x equals to secant square x. So what we can do, we can decide to replace secant with tangent of x plus 1. Or we can decide to replace tangent with secant of x plus 1 or secant of x minus 1. We can also decide to replace 1, this 1. We can solve for 1 right here. That is secant square x minus tangent square x so we can replace this one right here with secant square x minus tangent square x whatever way we want to do it so we may want to choose the first one of the options so let's say we replace this one with secant square x minus tangent square x plus secant square x plus tangent square x plus 2 secant of x, tangent of x. 
So this tangent of x, tangent square x, tangent square x go out. So we can now further simplify. So we have y prime now to be secant of x tangent of x plus secant square x divided by so there is secant square x there is secant square x so it becomes 2 secant square x plus 2 secant of x tangent of x so we see that 2 is on both it's within both terms so we can just factor out 2 that is we bring 2 outside so there will be no more 2 right here so what do you observe secant of x tangent of x plus secant square x secant square x plus tangent square x secant square x plus secant of x tangent of x so these two are the same because if we, if we rewrite them we can bring this term first and make this term second so this we cancel this expression so y prime will just be equal to one or over two because this goes into is there one time this goes here one time so it's just one or over two so we see that y prime is equal to one or over two so this is how we find derivative of trigonometric inverse function. Thanks for watching. See you in our next lecture.